Wrath of the Titans is an action-adventure fantasy film and the sequel to the 2010 movie, Clash of the Titans. The story follows Perseus, the demigod son of Zeus, as he embarks on a perilous journey to rescue his father from the clutches of the imprisoned titan, Kronos. A decade after his triumphant defeat of the Kraken, Perseus, the half-god son of Zeus, resides as a fisherman alongside his ten-year-old son, Helios. But his wife, Io, has passed away. One fateful night, Zeus pays him a visit, revealing that the strength of the gods is waning and the once secure walls of the underworld prison, Tartarus, are weakening due to the declining devotion from humans. To counter the impending danger, Zeus urges that the world's armies must be rallied, but Perseus remains disinterested and steadfastly declines to engage in the situation. That night, Perseus had a dream. They were attacked by monsters, and he saw a giant being killing thousands of men, including him and his son. Later, Zeus goes to Tartarus to meet his brothers Hades and Poseidon as well as his son Ares. He wants them all to forget their past disagreements and work together to rebuild Tartarus. However, Hades refuses and commands his followers to attack. During the fight, Poseidon gets badly hurt and Ares betrays Zeus because he feels jealous that Perseus receives more love and attention than him. They took Zeus captive while stealing his powerful thunderbolt. Hades and Ares have a plan. They aim to drain Zeus' powers to bring back Kronos, who is Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon's father. In return for reviving Kronos, Hades and Ares expect to retain their immortality. The walls of Tartarus crumble, setting free scary monsters into the world. Perseus saves his village by defeating a dangerous creature called Chimera. Then, he takes his son, Helios, to the Mount of Idols to talk to Zeus. However, instead of Zeus, they meet Poseidon, who is on the brink of death. Perseus learns from Poseidon that Hades and Ares have captured Zeus in Tartarus. Poseidon advises him to meet his demigod son, Agenor, in order to locate the fallen god Hephaestus, who knows how to get into Tartarus. Before passing away and turning into dust, Poseidon gives Perseus his trident. Perseus, riding on Pegasus, arrives at the camp where Queen Andromeda's army is stationed. Agenor, who was imprisoned for stealing crown jewels, is freed by Perseus. Together with Andromeda, Agenor, and a group of soldiers, they embark on a journey to find Hephaestus. Agenor explains that Hephaestus is the creator of three powerful weapons, Zeus' thunderbolt, Hades' pitchfork, and Poseidon's trident. When combined, these weapons form the Spear of Triumph, the only weapon capable of defeating Kronos. Agenor uses Poseidon's trident as a guiding tool to steer the boat towards Hephaestus' island. Shortly after, the group comes across vast lands and a place with towering trees. But their joy turns to concern as they notice giant traps activating, capturing Agenor. Before they can rescue him, a huge tree is hurled at Perseus, and to his surprise, a gigantic humanoid figure emerges before him. Perseus attempts to flee, leading the creature away from his friends. But just as the soldiers plan to ambush the first giant, another one shows up from behind. The people try to fight back with their arrows, but it only makes the creature angrier. It easily throws the warriors around, and sadly, they are no match for their strength and are quickly defeated. As the massive creature continues to cause chaos and wreck everything in its path, Perseus keeps fleeing. Finally, Perseus reaches a cliff and discovers a trap set up by the giants. Realizing he can't run anymore, he decides to take a final stand there. The Cyclops rushes at Perseus with angry shouts, and attempts to crush him. However, Perseus fights back and stabs the creature's hand, making it scream in pain. The soldiers try to restrain the monster with ropes, but it fiercely resists and throws Perseus to the ground. After breaking free from the restraints, Perseus cleverly triggers a trap that hurls a tree trunk onto the enemy's head, knocking him out cold. After his victory over the first giant, the man confidently approaches the creature. However, he notices another giant charging toward him, intending to save its friend. Perseus has no choice but to prepare for another fight and takes out the trident. Thankfully, the elder Cyclops arrives just in the nick of time. He puts a Genor down and shows respect to the humans by bowing, especially after seeing Perseus holding the trident. The gigantic humanoids lead the people to their destination and they reach a massive building where the fallen deity lives. Hephaestus had lost much of his divine power because he had supported Hades and betrayed the other Olympian gods ten years ago. Hephaestus explains that he possesses a map that can help them find the way to Tartarus. 
He then guides them to the entrance of the labyrinth. Unfortunately, they face an attack from Ares after Korna prays to him. Ares easily eliminates the fighters and kills Korna. Fortunately, Hephaestus managed to open the entrance to the labyrinth. He then hurries to confront Ares, sacrificing himself to create an opportunity for the heroes to escape into the maze. Agenor attempts to use the map to guide them but the ever-changing labyrinth proves challenging, almost crushing them at one point. Perseus gets separated from the rest and faces, and defeats the Minotaur. After killing the creature, Perseus keeps moving forward, and eventually, they all come together again realizing that the entrance to Tartarus is right in front of them. At the same time, Zeus has lost much of his power, and Kronos is starting to awaken. Zeus apologizes to Hades and seeks his forgiveness, just as he has forgiven Hades for his deeds. Hades has a change of heart and decides to assist Zeus in stopping Kronos. However, Ares gets involved and interferes with their plans. Ares surprises the god by attacking from behind and knocking him down. Hades recovers swiftly and fights back, leading to both of them falling into the abyss as they tumble down from the cliffs. Perseus arrives and uses the trident to rescue Zeus, setting him free. Ares shows up and attempts to hinder them, but Hades immobilizes him, creating an opportunity for their escape. However, Ares quickly regains his footing and throws Hades' pitchfork at Zeus's back. Zeus seizes both the trident and the pitchfork, merging them together, which triggers a massive explosion that teleports the heroes away. Perseus, Andromeda, and Aegenor bring Zeus to the bottom of the mountain where Andromeda's army is assembled. They possess the combined trident and pitchfork pitchfork, but they still need the thunderbolt, which Ares has in his possession, to complete the spear. Perseus prays to Ares and challenges him to a fight at the Temple of Gods, and Ares agrees to the challenge. The demigod bids farewell to his friends and takes off on Pegasus, soaring into the sky. The crowd cheers, rooting for his success. In a short while, the distant mountain erupts, causing a huge shockwave that engulfs the entire army. Countless fiery demons are launched onto the battlefield. These fierce monsters fiercely charge at the army, and the soldiers make desperate attempts to fight back. However, it becomes evident that the mortal soldiers are no match for the hellish demons, and they are tragically defeated one by one. At the temple, Perseus discovers that Ares has captured Helios, who was brought there to witness Perseus' demise. Ares proves to be much stronger than Perseus, and while beating up Perseus, his attention is diverted when Helios bravely confronts him with a sword, providing Perseus with the chance to defeat him. Perseus tackles Ares, driving him back, and then delivers a decisive stab to his chest, ultimately overpowering him by choking him. Seizing the thunderbolt, he drives it into his brother's stomach, causing the deity to disintegrate into dust. Perseus swiftly collects the three weapons of the gods and merges them, creating the powerful Spear of Triumph, which emits a constant, radiant glow of energy. Hades appears and helps revive Zeus, saying he forgives his brother. Together, using their remaining strength, they join forces to defeat the army that has killed most of Andromeda's men. Soon, Kronos emerges from the mountains, roaring fiercely at the gods. Zeus decides to take the initiative and charges up all his energy, releasing it onto the monster. This causes massive explosions on the enemy's body, but it only manages to enrage the titan further. In retaliation, Kronos strikes at a nearby mountain, causing widespread destruction. Perseus arrives on the battlefield, carrying the magical spear, with the intent of defeating the colossal creature once and for all. Kronos notices this and launches a barrage of lava at the main character. Perseus dodges the attack while flying through the air, but unfortunately, the flames consume the entire army on the ground. Seeing his son, Zeus starts gathering his energy for a final attack with his brother's support. They hurl the energy toward Kronos, creating a huge explosion that pushes the enemy back, allowing Perseus to approach the enemy more closely. Kronos delivers a devastating attack by punching the ground, causing a massive explosion. Zeus does his best to shield his brother from the attack, trying to defend against it. However, the enemy's power proves to be overwhelming, and the energy eventually breaks through the barrier, sending Zeus flying backward and crashing onto the rocks. Perseus seizes the opportunity and flies straight toward the monster's face, entering its mouth. He slashes the creature's throat from the inside and then hurls the weapon into its body, resulting in a massive explosion. All the soldiers cheer in triumph as the beast is defeated. Perseus meets with Zeus and Hades. Zeus praises Perseus for his bravery, acknowledging that the era of the gods has come to an end before vanishing into dust. Hades, now mortal, contemplates that being human might be for the best and walks away. 
Perseus reunites with Andromeda and shares a kiss with her. Aware that there are still titans to confront, Perseus decides to train Helios to become a soldier. And with that, the movie ends. Thank you for watching, and I highly recommend watching the entire movie as it is incredibly enjoyable. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel, so you can stay updated and receive notifications whenever we upload new videos.